guys, Jeff Allen, Off The Grid Iron. Welcome back. In today's episode, we take a thrift store find and turn it into a functional bushcraft knife. I'm going to show you how to do that. Also, we take an old saw blade and I'll show you that my new, my brand new bushcraft knife that I built in the last couple of days, uh, as well as the sheath. So, stay tuned. Okay, so, visiting my local thrift store, what did I find? I found an old used kitchen knife. This happened to be a Nella uh Sologen premium professional grade quality stainless steel anyways it was a really long kitchen knife it was much longer than this this is currently probably about four inches longer definitely a different blade profile and what i did was with a four inch grinder cut the blade down now it's very more esque i call it very strong and, and thick uh very very solid grip in the end i drilled a hole for a lanyard and on the back side, an oversized hole where I've epoxied in a plumber's cap. And this is used for uh, kind of a socket for a bow drill. Anyways, I wanted to show this as a, as a quick example of how somebody getting into bushcraft, somebody, some of these novices out there that are really searching to get, get a foothold in, into the whole experience of bushcraft, can, can find something and make it into something functional. Again, this is just a, a thrift store find. It was a longer... Uh, kind of a, probably a full tang uh, kitchen knife of sort. It was a large carving knife. And, you you know, this is, you know, as thick as any Mora that I've seen, uh, but certainly something that's, that's worthy of getting started. Just another night, I uh, ah, put my skills to the test once again and took an old saw blade from my father-in-law and created this. Full tang bushcraft beauty i call it i guess i don't know anyways it's got a bit of a scanty grind on there and uh again i'm learning i don't profess to be a uh quality knife maker by any sort uh, i've watched a number of videos and uh again shout outs to outdoors 55 he's he's create, creating some some great blades uh in a very easy simple uh simple to follow manner so i want to thank him for doing that but anyways we put some uh Three stainless pins in there, a lanyard hole, which I have to clean up a little bit yet. It started to sp split out there. But nice and, nice and smooth, nice and beefy. And uh, I think that's probably a, a four and a half, five inch blade on there. So I have some a little polishing to do, but uh, something that I'm proud of as a, as a quick two day build. I think that'll certainly suffice in my, my kit or certainly on my hip, if nothing else. And again, this was uh, showed in a previous video, as was the uh, the other Nella bushcraft knife. Um, this was a uh, leather case that I made. A little water stain there just uh, recently. But the uh, the snap, the belt loop is double over, certainly stitched. All the edges were glued. I didn't bother stitching this particular one. And inside and I got, again it's all it's all tanned tanned leather so that's uh and there's a, a logo that i've been working on showcasing some of my initials so that's a work in progress but it was just something creative that i did one other thing i was wanting to mention about the uh this this <coughs> kind of thrift store bushcraft knife if you will is the idea of requiring a simple sheath for that and what I did was I took a piece of gray PVC kind of conduit material, heated it up, squeezed it between the vise, and molded it, heat molded it to the knife. The additional holes were for um, some water. And the knife presses inside. Just a pressure fit it helps if I put it on the right way. Pressure, pressure fit inside, so it pinches down on the knife there, and then all through the blade, it squeezes the blade lightly. But this is, this is good retention. I can shake that, and it's not going to come out. Now around my neck with this lanyard, it's a quick grab and push with my thumb, and that's going to release out very easily. So that was one quick and easy way. To, to make a sheath. And again, for, for $2, this is something that uh, certainly I'm, I'm 
confident and proud to take on a trip, uh, can canoe trip perhaps, but in the, in the, in the event that I did lose it, uh, I haven't really lost out on too much, maybe a little bit of time in the manufacturing, but not a lot of time in the, in the cost. Again, a neck lanyard with uh, a whistle is, uh, is all you need. So that's it. I want to quickly showcase those two things for you. Uh, the, the thrift store knife and the sheath have been aired in other videos. I'll put the link to that in the upper corner. And then my new kit, my new bushcraft knife, uh, very Ray Mears inspired, is uh, something that I'm proud of. And uh, I can't wait to put a final, final sharp edge on there. Although the edge that's on there right now is quite, uh, quite substantial. So, there we go. Thanks for sticking around today. In today's episode, I want to showcase how you can take that thrift store find and turn it into an everyday bushcraft knife, if you will. And I want to show you the, the knife that I made out of an old saw blade. Again, with a little bit of creativity and some YouTube experience, you too can be well on your way to start your own bushcraft knife collection. And uh, a shout out to Outdoors55. Thank you very much for your, doing a great job with, with your knife making tutorials. I followed that and uh, that's what I came up with uh, after only a few minutes of watching your videos. Again, if you're liking what I provide, please subscribe, like, and share. Uh, it's up to us as bushcrafters to share our experience with some of those novice uh, people out there interested in our field and joining our, uh, our uh, kind of world of wilderness bushcraft. So, until next time, enjoy the outdoors. Jeff Allen from Off the Gridiron.